Before I start this video today, I want to remind everybody to check out my Patreon channel. Uh, there are many other things that I can talk about over there on that platform that I can't talk about on this platform. Uh, so if you get a moment, if you get a chance, head over to my Patreon, Jeremiah Babe, where I'm going to have the ability to talk on a few other topics that I can't quite talk on this platform. So check out Patreon, Jeremiah Babe. Thanks. So here we are today, June 2nd, 2020. Dow Jones up 267 points as police officers are being shot and run over, as we see stores, retailers, and restaurants being destroyed, being looted, being burned down. Yet, the Dow Jones is up 267 points as we are in a depression, as we are watching all this unrest unfold throughout America. If you're not worried with what's happening to the United States of America right now, you are ignorant. You really are. Uh, so many people out there who told you and I that this could never happen, uh, that we could never see this type of division. We could never see this type of economy. We could never have a depression, none of this. And it's all happening. It's all coming true right now. But it is shocking yet again, the Dow Jones with all this bad news is up 267 points today. Are you kidding me? This thing is so fake. Look, if you believe that the stock market is a free market, that it is not manipulated, that it is not controlled, that it is not fake, then you believe in Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. You really do. Uh, again, you have got to be an ignorant human being not to see what is going on right now. And I feel really, really sorry for you. So retailers and restaurants across the US close their doors again as the economy was just beginning to partially reopen and now everything closes down again. As people run around, pull people, drag people out of cars, beat them unconscious, beat store owners, shoot police officers. Um, it seems like there's no consequences. Uh, I'm sure that you see a lot of these videos as I do on the news where we see the police uh, standing by uh, as Stores are being vandalized as they're being burnt to the ground, looted. Um, I've never seen anything like this, but somebody please explain to me how the US economy is going to bounce back from this. We are in a massive collapse right now. And on top of this collapse, we have massive division. We have all this unrest taking place. Um, how do we recover from this? What is going to stop what is happening? Uh, it just seems that there is no consequence for these actions, that uh, there is no negative that overrides the positive. People know that they can get away with this. I, I think either our police, not all, but most of them, are either overwhelmed with, with what is taking place or they are scared, uh, maybe scared of losing their jobs, uh, scared of other consequences? I don't know. We have some fantastic police out there, so this is not a knock on police officers. Um, but what is taking place in many of our major cities? Uh, it's overwhelming. Uh, it's so sad to see what's taking place um, as police stand by and just watch all this chaos take place. So how far does this go? Uh, what's scary is now, um, you know, a lot of these people are coming into the suburbs. Uh, I've had to cancel my trip to Texas. As most of you probably know, I was beginning to move uh, some of my uh, personal uh, belongings out to Texas. Assets, cash, 
security, moving uh, this out to my location in Texas. And right now I don't feel comfortable driving halfway across the country, uh, moving assets, uh, not knowing what I'm gonna meet from state to state. Uh, as, as we've seen out here, uh, freeways being closed down, um, parts of, of cities being closed down, people being dragged out of cars, people uh, being shot. Uh, so it's just right now uh, I've got business out here. I've got family out here that I've got to look after and protect. So I just cannot be on the road uh, away from this right now. So I'm going to postpone my trip uh, probably into early July now. Hopefully uh, this will start to settle down. But it seems like every time it starts to settle down, it spikes back up somewhere else. Gun sales are surging. And what does this tell us? It tells us that the average person is starting to get very worried. And they realize from what they're watching that the police cannot help them. Uh, numerous interviews of store owners in Los Angeles, Santa Monica, other parts of California uh, that called for help. And there just was not the manpower to help the store owners. Uh, imagine how many people now um, sitting at home are very worried about something happening as these people now say that they're going to head into the suburbs. What they did to Rodale Drive is, is just a tragedy, just shocking, disturbing, uh, very, very ominous what we are watching take place. So again, people are beginning to get very worried here because they're not seeing uh, this thing slow down. They're not seeing uh, any of this settle down. In fact, it seems to be uh, gaining momentum. They just go from one city to the next. So, you know, at the end of the day, as I've always said, you've got to be your own central bank. You've got to be your own security because the government and the police are not going to be there to save you. They're overwhelmed. They can barely help themselves at this point. And, and again, as we've seen the economy exposed, and how weak and fragile it was, uh, we are now seeing how weak and fragile the system is in regards to law enforcement protecting you. Um, it is very fragile, it is very weak, it is very stretched, and if you need to call for help right now, it's gonna be a long time before the police get to your house. And again, this isn't a knock on the police. They're overwhelmed, I get it. M many agencies are under-trained, underfunded. Uh, a lot of people now don't want to even be a police officer. So a lot of departments have had to resort to lowering substandard people onto these departments, lowering their, their standards when they recruit uh, people to be police officers. And we've got people out there uh, that are very untrained, very overwhelmed, uh, and now they're in literally a nightmare on the streets of America. And as things completely split apart uh, socially, economically, things continue to deteriorate. Auto sales plunged 33% in May, set for, for worst year since 2009. Wells Fargo, worried about defaults, stops making loans to most independent car dealerships. Wells Fargo, one of the biggest Lenders for new and used car purchases in the U.S. sent letters to hundreds of independent auto dealerships last month telling them that the San Francisco-based company was dropping them as a customer. They will no longer accept loan applications from most independent dealerships. Look, they see what is coming. We are going to see so many uh, used cars hitting the auto market and new cars that are sitting right now with more new cars coming to the dealerships because the auto plants don't want to stop production. They don't want to be laying off people. They don't want to stop. But at some point, they're going to have no choice but to have massive layoffs in the auto industry because there is no place to put cars right now, new or used. But we're looking at over a half million used cars that will be hitting the market with these rental car agencies in big trouble uh, having to uh, cut the fat. And this is gonna just slam prices. Um, it's gonna be uh, absolutely devastating to the auto markets. And when we talk about what is happening with debt, defaults, 
the auto industry, the depression that we're in, uh, this uh, divide that we're seeing, all this unrest, and the Ponzi scheme uh, stock market that continues to go up based on nothing but injections, artificial injections by the Federal Reserve. I mean, really, take a look with your own two eyes what's going on. Dow Jones up 267 points today. Wow, the cities are burning. Cops being attacked, people dragged out of the cars, store owners assaulted, people being killed. Um, absolutely a time in history that I will never forget. Um, and I'm not surprised that we're here. You, you know, this is no surprise. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. We've talked about this for a couple years, that these times were coming and, and look, it's going to get worse. I hate to tell you, if you think that this is the worst of it, you're sadly mistaken. Don't be fooled. This is no time to be complacent. And I think most people watching this video understand that we've got a long way to go. This, this economy, uh, what's happening socially, has got a long way to go down before it gets better. We're gonna see a lot of bad things happen here in America, politically. Um, socially, financially, spiritually. This is spiritual warfare, ladies and gentlemen. There are very good people and there are very bad people. And this country is at a fork in the road and we've got some very big decisions to make in what direction that this country is gonna go. Uh, are we gonna have laws? Are we gonna have law and order? Uh, or are we just gonna just be out of control, do what we want? Um, and right now, I. I've got to tell you, it's, it's, it's appalling and it's embarrassing to see the animalistic behavior of so many people in America. And I never thought so many people hated this country, but apparently they do. And it is so sad, it's heartbreaking to see what is taking place on the streets of America. And I know it's going to get worse. You know it's gonna get worse. We have massive unemployment now here in America. People have been cooped up in their homes, uh, many now jobless, many going homeless, uh, people angry, people divided, uh, but this in no way should justify people assaulting other people because of what they look like, uh, assaulting people because they have a, a, a badge, assaulting people because they're wealthy, uh, assaulting people because they own a store or a restaurant. Uh, this is absolutely appalling uh, what is taking place. It's absolutely disgusting how animalistic people are becoming. I mean, like wolf packs ganging up uh, on people, on, on individuals, 10, 20 people ganging up on one individual, beating them, senseless, laughing, taking their wallets, uh, robbing them. It's, uh, I mean, where am I right now? I feel like I landed uh, off of a spaceship into some third world country. This country is becoming more and more unrecognizable. While people will write me on Facebook or somewhere on social media and tell me, don't bet against America. I don't understand these people who are so offended because I say something about America. They believe I'm unpatriotic. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just sit there on the couch and don't talk about what's going on, don't raise your voice, don't get involved somehow. Uh, if you're not awake to what's going on, you just want to ignore it and just believe everything is okay because it's America. Wow, your cities are burning, your pensions are being robbed, you're going jobless, many will go homeless, people starving, opportunity inequality, wealth inequality, uh, and now people assaulting people for no reason. Uh, if you believe that America's heading in the right direction, you believe that I shouldn't say anything, you are out of your mind. You are severely ignorant. This country is not heading in the right direction. This is a great country, but it is going down the toilet bowl right now, and it's going to be flushed really quick if people don't wake up and start doing something. If we don't start raising our voices, if we don't start admitting uh, that we have some serious problems here in America, we are not gonna have a country. Too many people standing by just believing America is not gonna fail, America is gonna be here for the next thousand years. While you sit on the couch 
and do nothing. Don't get involved. Don't say anything. Don't critically think for yourself. Don't prepare. Unable to protect your families. Have no hard assets put away when this dollar collapses. And I'm so sick of these people who say, oh, that will never happen. That could never happen because it's America. Look at what's happening to your country right now. You need to get your, hand, your head out of the sand. You need to get out of the matrix. You need to get out of your bubble. You need to stop judging and criticizing me. And you better look in the mirror and you better look out to the United States of America, you better watch right now what is happening to your country because you are losing it. So I wanna close with this, this massive debt, this economy is collapsing right before your very eyes. The unrest that we're seeing take place right now, we have no idea what tomorrow brings, but right now, this is an environment that you better be holding assets in, like gold and silver, especially gold. Everything that is happening is a reason why you better be protecting your wealth. You better have security to protect your physical wealth, but you better have assets like gold and silver to protect your financial wealth. The day of reckoning financially is coming to America. We have no idea how bad this can get. But one thing I do know from the bottom of my heart, I'm not giving you any financial advice, I'm not telling you what to do, but I can tell you what I'm doing. The environment we're in right now tells me I need to be buying gold. I need to be buying silver. I need security. I need to keep adding to all of these assets. This environment is flashing red. It's gonna get much worse. You better be protecting yourself every way possible. And financially, you better have gold, you better have silver, you better stop listening to these people who, who told you gold's going to $500, silver's going to uh, $3. Those days are over, ain't gonna happen. Stop listening to these people who call you doom and gloom, who criticize and judge me. They told me two years ago, none of this was gonna happen. Now you sit in a depression, now you sit in a frozen economy, now you sit, uh, in a country that is on fire, cities burning, people being attacked. Stop listening to those people who told you none of this could ever happen because it's happening right before your, air, your very eyes. And I'm here to tell you, many more things are about to happen.